Well, hello there. It's Monday, July the 29th, 2013. Uh, you can probably see behind me here is this uh, pumpkin plant that I have growing. Uh, it was a volunteer that I did a video on about volunteers uh, uh, about a four or five weeks ago. It, it grew out of a out of a straw bale, and uh, it's 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 got plenty of nitrogen to it and uh, calcium to it. So the plant is starting to really stretch out uh, sideways here and grow out, but it's not getting any fruit on it. So I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to do some hand pollination this morning. I just wanted to show you how how it is that I do that. Uh, sometimes uh, in uh, pumpkins and squash and some of these other plants, they they have a tendency. Sometimes they don't set fruit as quick as we'd like for them to. So uh, I'm going to show you how I hand pollinate these plants, uh, so you can get a look at it and then see how I do it. Here's this plant now. Now this thing is really stretched on out there. I think it's somewhere around uh, 14, 16 foot long and it's still got runners taking on off. Got some real pretty leaves on it. This is the base of, of this uh, volunteer pumpkin that I have growing. You can see that uh, it's coming right straight out of the middle of that straw bale. In fact, when I picked the old pumpkin up that was sitting on top of this straw bale and the bottom fell out of it, you can still see the seeds laying across the top there, which, uh, which sprouted and grew the plant from. Uh, right on the end of this plant, this is the second or third female flower that's come on the end. You can tell the female flower by by that right there. Uh, it's a uh, it grows like that, but on the bottom of this flower is the beginning of the fruit. Here it is from a different angle. This is the up under the flower that I just showed you. You can see the fruit there. However. If this, uh, if the bees doesn't, doesn't get into this flower and get the pollen off of this male flower and distribute it across the female flower, the pollination won't take place and the, uh, the fruit won't grow. It, it'll just wither off and die off the uh, plant. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this male flower and rub it in to the female flower. Like I said, we'll take this, this male flower and just rub it right across this. So that's the way I, I hand pollinate a pumpkin. You can do uh, pumpkin, squash, zucchini, any of those type of plants, watermelon, uh, any of those type of plants that grow these flowers like this. Uh, hopefully the bees would have pollinated it, but this is the, the second or third fruit set that's came on there and the other two just withered away. And with it being already July 29th, my growing season will end before the pumpkin can get big enough. So I want to try to get at least one pumpkin off this plant. Just in case anybody was wondering if the uh, hand pollination was successful, here's that pumpkin that had the flower on it six days after the hand pollination. You can see the bloom has already fell off. I set it up on a uh, brick there to keep it up off the ground. And it's really growing well. really appreciate you watching. Uh, please click and subscribe, rate, and comment. I hope you have a good day.
Until we meet again, have a good day.